Hi guys and welcome back to another video or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Dana, I'm a mama to four and in today's video I am really excited to be filming this one because this has actually been requested by quite a few of you guys on both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. So I'm really excited to kind of put together a list of my favorite activities for times when we just need to be extra quiet, specifically for like church activities. Kind of what's in our church activity bag, some of my favorites that I like to rotate in and out. So everything I'm going to share with you today I wanted to throw out there that these are things that are really geared towards that two to four year old range. They're activities that you can do them as little as two all the way up to four and honestly you can my five and seven year old honestly love all of these things as well. However they are at the age now where they can just kind of sit through the whole church service without needing that extra activity. Sometimes they will choose to take coloring and coloring books but more often than not they will just take a stuffed animal and then call it a day. They love taking a stuffed animal. They kind of just yeah they just hold it during church and they love it so that's kind of their thing is everything is going to be geared towards definitely those younger years and I do have quite a bit to share with you today so let's go ahead and jump into today's video absolutely loves books. She has a few of her favorites so I'm going to show you. Books are one of those things that I love taking and I'm always torn between whether or not to take her absolute favorites because I don't want to lose them versus actually taking her favorites because she loves them. So it's always that kind of like okay do I not? Do I? And anyway I always choose to take them mostly because I know she will be thoroughly engaged. She'll love it and even though she doesn't sit in the main service for the whole service just honestly flipping through the books will keep her kind of entertained and engaged for that first little bit anyway so we can at least get through through the first part of this sermon and things like that. So the first book I'm going to share is actually one of her absolute favorites. This book has been all three of my kiddos so far. They're absolute favorites and I'm sure it'll be my fourth but she loves this book. We will read this multiple times a day. We'll read it every single night before bed. And it's read in such a fun little poem type way that sometimes when we get to the actual sounds that the animals make and things like that she'll go ahead and make the animal sounds which could be the pro or con of actually doing this in service of looking through it. So we this is one of those things that we will typically do like out in the hallway when she goes out with mommy or daddy depending if a baby needs to go out to or not. Another one that she absolutely loves is Bunny Roo, I Love You. If you are not familiar with this book, it is Darling. It is such a warm and cozy little book, especially for those toddler years. The illustrations are really, really pretty. And this honestly is just one of her all-time favorite books. Again, we read this multiple times a day right now. But this, in combination with that one I showed you, is pretty much always in our church activity bag. And they kind of rotate, rotate in and out of that. The next one I'm going to show you is actually a heavy book and so this is one that I don't always take because it's not one that she can actually do in the main service. Now this is one that we do do out in the hallway so I will sometimes rotate it in. But this is the polka dot who's in the ocean. If you are not familiar with these books, oh my goodness, my two year old loves these. It is such a fun interactive book and one of my favorite things about it is of course they have all the bubbles here that you can actually pop. So you can go through and just count and pop and it's so much fun. She has been loving this and has been doing this nonstop. But an, an everyday read though, she loves it and we did take it to church last Sunday as our kind of like hallway activity <laughs> and she adored it. So this is definitely one of my top, top book recommendations if you have a two year old because it is amazing. And honestly my five and seven year old love it just as much but for that two year olds, it definitely must have for your bookshelf. <laughs> Another really fun activity, and honestly, this is a really good one too for if they're still in the service. So for my two-year-old, when we're actually sitting in a service together as a family, typically we will get through the entire worship part and a good 10 to 15 minutes of the service before baby and or toddler <laughs> need to leave. But another really fun activity that's quiet and she adores is honestly just get a couple of these really cheap sticker books and some paper. Sometimes she will do these herself. She'll, it's really good fine motor skill practice. It's an affordable way to do it. But there's a ton of just little stickers on the sheet and sometimes she'll use her own little fingers and peel them off. Other times I will peel them off for her and hand them to her. But she, this is such an engaging activity for her specifically. I don't know what it is about stickers and just putting them on paper but this will keep her entertained for a solid 10-15 minutes. And so if the baby is happy this is a must have activity for my activity bag personally. Just because it's so quiet, it's so just hands on and it 
um, really causes her to concentrate getting a little sticker on her fingers and putting it on the paper. And it's a really affordable thing as well. And you can get those little reusable stickers so you can kind of um, make it even more affordable that way. I've never really taken the time to take the stickers off of the page. so. This is a good, a good alternative to do that, and again, in a really affordable way and a quiet activity to have during church. Another really quiet activity that she also loves, and I've shared these many times before on my channel as far as being her favorite little, little toddler activity, but they're super quiet and we love them. So there's six different colors on these, but they're called Fitta Space, and we got these originally from the preschool My Father's World curriculum, but the little shapes just kind of pop out, you can put them back in, and just a really, really fun, as you can tell, they're super soft, just a really really fun extremely quiet activity and she loves it but all the little shapes if you can tell here they have little holes in them and so what she will do is I'll also take like an old shoestring or something like that and so she'll kind of thread it through the holes as well an activity that keeps her really engaged now most of the activities if it's not a book or anything it requires the concentrating and the, like I said the things that keep her engaged so this is one of my favorites as far as a quiet time thing that I always pack in my activity bag Another thing, and I actually shared these, I believe, in my favorites video that I just made, and this is actually a set of little erasers, and I mentioned in that video that I like taking a handful of them with us to church because these little erasers come apart, and so this is such a fantastic, especially for that two-year-old, and honestly, my, like I said, my older ones love everything I'm going to mention, so it's great for any age, but specifically for two, but she can take these little animals, take little pieces, and kind of put them together like so and make her own little animals. And I love these because it's not only a fantastic, fantastic like fine motor skills activity, but it's just something fun, something that's very, very quiet. I really like the ladybug and the leaf. I think it's super, super cute. So if this is one of the activities that I am choosing to take in my activity bag, I will take like an extra five or six and kind of rotate those out because I do have a lot, a lot of them. So this is another favorite that again is very quiet, very engaging, and one that she has thoroughly been enjoying. Another one that I am so excited, and I also had to share this with you as well. I shared this on my community tab here on YouTube last week, I believe, by the time you're seeing this video, and as well as over on Instagram last week as well. Um, but these are these little animal tins, and they are so, so darling. We have three of them. This is the jungle one. We also have the ocean one. The jungle one is my seven-year-old, and this is actually one of those things that he will take to church with him as well. But this is a jungle one. My five-year-old daughter has the ocean one, and then my two-year-old has the farm one. Um, but I have the jungle one just because it was the one that was closest nearby when I was grabbing everything to make this video. But what they are is I'm going to try to do this without them falling out. But what they are is this little magnetic animals, there's little rubber animals that have little magnets on them. And there's a little scene inside so you can kind of make your own little little jungle scene. One of my favorite things about this is this the animals are actually rubber and they put a very, very tiny little magnet on there. And if you are worried about the actual magnets, they are very, very well on there. We haven't had any issues with them coming apart. But they also have larger versions of this as well. Like they have an actual larger tin with larger animals. So that might be a little bit more two-year-old friendly. But I had to share these ones because these are the ones that we have. And probably going to place an order for the larger tins. Uh, but yeah, they're just so, so much fun. And I had to share them because I think they're super, super cute. So another favorite, and this is an official, I think they actually officially call these just quiet books. But this one is super cute. It has a little handle on it. This is the front part. And then on the back here, there's a little zipper that they can play with, little buttons that they can play with. And then it has the part here where you can actually like close it shut. But this one I really liked in particular because it is one of my two-year-old's favorite activities and that is kind of fruits and veggies and making food. Anyway, it's super cute and I wanted to share it with you. It does say quiet book in the title. However, I will say this is one of these activities that we really only do out in the hallway when we're out there together because of the actual Velcro. Now the Velcro is not like the super loud Velcro. Like something else I'm going to be showing you here soon but because it isn't like super quiet like the stickers and these little foam pieces they it, is, it does make some noise but it's super cute you can like make the little fire move on the little stove you can open up the thing and put all your veggies in but she loves this and I will go ahead and mention as well that when it comes to my quiet time kind of activities in my bag these are things that are saved specifically for that bag only because if it is something that is played every day during the week it's something that might not be as engaging or fun on Sunday so this is something that is kept in my bag which I'll show you here in a minute so this is that quiet book and we have used it quite a few times and it's definitely one of our favorites to take with us now. 
So another favorite is actually this Shapes Puzzle. There's a lot of different versions of this online. However, this one is just, I really like the packaging of it. It's really condensed and small and just great for throwing in that little activity bag. But it's just, honestly, it is what it is. It's full, oops, yep, yeah, I'm gonna drop everything. It's full of just all kinds of fun shapes and you can build and create. And this is one I will say that we actually don't use during the service. It's one that I intentionally take for that hallway time for if we're out there together doing that. And then with the actual shape puzzle, there's also the cards that come with it. It's a huge tin full of all the shapes and all the little ideas that you can do with the actual shapes themselves. So all these fun things. And of course our animals right up my kid's alley, but you can just take the cards, pick something you want to do and create. And it's just so, so fun. We've really been enjoying this. But again, this is not one that you would probably do in service. This is one of those hallway type activities. So I always call them a hallway activity because for half the service, that's where I am anyway. So um, yeah, this is a really, really fun one. So my next one, this is actually one that my little toddler actually likes to carry in herself. It has a little handle, so it kind of looks like a little bag. It's super soft, extremely quiet. So it's definitely one of those activities that is great for like in service. But what this is, this is actually alphabet cards. So you have like the K on one side and a little kitten on the other side. So there's actually 26 little tiles. And so a fun thing that I like to do with her is I will like blindly pull one out and she'll be like, okay, what is this? And even though she might not know all the letters, she likes looking at the pictures and trying to pronounce it and everything like that. And then plus she likes looking at the colors. And this is actually another really great kind of language development game as well. If you do have a toddler like we do that has a little bit of a speech delay, this is a great, great activity to do with them because you never know which one you're gonna pull out. Like we'll mix them up and we'll pull another one out. We'll get so excited and we'll be like, T is for turtle. And yeah, this is a really, really fun activity. I highly recommend these for, yeah, for taking a church. And like I said, she likes carrying it in by herself. This is one of those activities that we do keep put away until we actually do go to church. But I wanted to mention that, yeah, it's one of our favorites so far. So my next favorite is going to be very odd, but this is one that is completely quiet and for some reason just fascinates my two-year-old. She loves these, but they are the slow rising little squeezy toys. She will squeeze these and so she'll squeeze them like this and they're, they are kind of like pop back up, but they're really, really, they're really therapeutic, honestly, but they're really squishy. And she will squish this and just watch it come back to life, watch it form again over and over. Now this comes in a set of six, I believe. Yes, the six. This is like a huge one. So I only take one of these at a time, honestly, but this is a lemon and yeah, she'll sort of squeeze it and kind of watch it come back to life. It's a slow rising one. So she just memorized. She'll squeeze it with all of her little might using her two tiny little hands and she'll just watch it and she'll stare at it and she loves these. Another favorite of ours, and this is actually an activity that my five and seven year old will take with them as well. They are called monkey noodles. They are these ones right here. They come in a pack of five. Now I have shared with you the, I believe it's the Nido Noodlies before and they are pretty much the exact same thing. These have a little bit more opacity to them, but for the most part they're pretty much identical. Anyway, they are these little stretchy little noodle things. My kiddos love these, they do. You can stretch them, you can pull them, you can just do whatever it is that you want with these things. They're so fun. And this is something like that she'll wrap around her fingers, she'll wrap it around her hand, she'll sit there and just stretch it. <laughs> but it is something that's obviously completely silent. She loves it. My son will take these too, as well as my daughter, and just kind of fidget with it. Because sometimes when you're little and you're sitting still, you just need something to fidget. And having something that you can fidget, but also make no sound is great. I think overall I probably do prefer the Nido brand over the monkey noodles but these are still a ton of fun and I had to share them because they're just yeah my kids love them. So for my actual activity bag it's very big so don't judge me too much but I actually found this thrifted so it's just a little handmade bag I believe but it's pretty much what we take every single Sunday as you can tell it's just a very very large bag because I need to take a bunch of activities for my toddler to keep her happy so I can like feed the baby, you know, things like that. Anyway, what is in this bag currently? I have one of the squishy fruit things, the quiet book, and then that polka dot book was actually in this bag as well, so I'll probably stick these back in here. But another thing, and you are going to be so tired of me talking about this, but it's just one of our favorite things. But another thing that we have in here is our boogie board. I always, whenever I say the name, I always think it's hilarious, but yeah. It's just like a little screen and you can write on it and it's just really fun and then you can 
click the button here and like have it erased. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but it's just really a really, really fun thing. And my kiddos have been loving this, all, all three of them. I almost say all four, but my she's just a baby. Anyway, um, my first three have loved this and really, really been enjoying that. And then of course in here, I have two things of my water wells. This is very well loved, as you can tell. This is one of her favorite activities though. And so I pretty much don't leave the house on Sunday without one of these water wells. And especially if you're needing a travel activity, this is fantastic fantastic as well. My only downside of taking these with us is the actual thing of water can leak a little bit, but I tried to keep it in a plastic sleeve and I haven't had any big issues, but that could be a downside depending. So I have two water wells in here, and I will say never underestimate the power of honestly just a couple of coloring books and crayons for that uh, quiet activities. My two-year-old again loves to color. It's something that requires her to concentrate just because she adores it, and she will take all the colors and just make beautiful beautiful fun scribbles all over the page I think it's really fun so again never underestimate something so simple as like that coloring book and crayons she again loves that and that's also what is inside my way too big activity bag right now so coloring books the quiet book water well and then another thing I have in here is again these are the ocean sticker activities I have shared this before on my channel I got this at the book outlet a couple of months ago now or maybe even four months ago it's been a while anyway this is something more for my five to seven year old it's like a a little encyclopedia type thing where there's a ton of information in here and there's all kinds of stickers you can kind of put wherever you want on the page and there's spots for them as well but just a really fun activity that is geared towards more of that five to seven year old range like my two older ones so I have that in there specifically for them if they do want something to do in church I have a bunch of construction paper I have a couple of just like regular lined notebooks if they want to doodle or something like that so I have those in here and let's see, construction paper. I have a coloring book in here right now. I'm little, like showing you what is currently in here. I have another coloring book. Again, this one is geared towards kind of like my older two kiddos. So I have that in here. I have my little box of crayons in here. And then this activity is I shared in my recent favorites, but this is not one that I would take in service because it can actually be pretty loud as you can tell. Um, but this is really, really fun. And again, I did share this in my favorites, but I'll share it with you again here. But this is a little magnetic writing tablet. And what this one is, is you can like bring all the magnets to the top. And I mentioned in my last video that my two-year-old likes taking this and taking like each magnet out individually as just something fun for her to do. It's really good to practice those fine and gross motor skills and things like that. So I had to share that. That is what is in here as well. And I believe between all of that stuff, I think that is everything that is in here. Another little notebook is in here. And yeah, some wet wipes and a couple of like diapers and stuff. But that is everything that is in my activity bag, which is, like I said, a lot. <laughs> So that is actually everything that I wanted to share with you as far as some of our favorite activities that we love taking to church with us specifically for when we need something quiet to do and something fun and interactive and engaging and just all the things for that quiet time. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it this far, especially, I know this is probably going to end up being a little bit of a longer video. So thank you again for being here. I will do my best to link everything down below for you. So if you are interested in anything or want to check anything out, you can do so. But until my next video, I hope you guys have a great day wherever you're doing. Again, thank you for being here and God bless. Bye.